Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of January 2020. Um, this is the uh, third series, I believe, that I'm putting out. Yes, it is. Um, so this is for those of you whom the previous readings may not have resonated. This could also be a continuation of a previous energy. Um, so it may or may not be your story. Um, if it's not your story, check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. If you still don't find them there, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. <clears throat> so um, these energies can be vice versa. You could be in these energies presently, or uh, this is yet to come. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, this, um, understand that this could be somebody that you have been dating, and they're inconsistent, so it would be like uh, on again, off again, like they show interest, and then they don't show interest. Um so this in, in that respect this is someone from your past this could be someone uh, also um from a deeper past like um 5 6 months ago even um so let's begin we have um the star here and so this is about a wish and what you're wishing for is the ace of wands um, this uh, could be a new opportunity or an idea for a new opportunity um, but somebody could be holding back or not cooperating possibly you could also be hoping that this person or wishing uh, to find a resolution um, with regards to this person we have the page of swords over here at the bottom of this deck and you can clearly see that uh, he is fully armored um, his shield is up and his sword is pointed down as if he's keeping his stance or keeping his position. His guard is up almost like he could be um, <clears throat> expecting um, some sort of uh, confrontation or bad news. So he's very, um, very guarded. The guard is up. This is about um, a, either a, reconcil a reconciliation, um, a healing of a relationship, um, a new beginning. You could be wishing for someone to return and, and perhaps intuitively you feel this person is coming but it, it is a relationship um, whether you were actually in a committed relationship or whether you were dating um, that struggled uh, there were a lot of issues bad health in that commitment we see it here you're very sensitive um, here or you could be um, keeping something secret with this card of cancer being here and this would have to do with the plan or the wish something that you have been thinking um, for some time about I feel because Pentacles is very slow moving energy or it's it's slow to manifest it Because the, the Knight of Pentacles is the thinker, the planner, and you have it twice here. 
you're missing this person and you may be doing a lot of thinking um, with regards to the plan of how you could transform this relationship. Um, you feel uh, um, very passionate about this um, this idea of this reconciliation. It's what you really desire and are wishing for. But you don't know how to take it from that um, challenging energy here of this bad health card. How to repair the issues or even if you can. There's going to be, um, there will be a meeting. Um, either you will journey to see this person or they will journey to see you. You would be wishing for this, most likely, for this person to come. Um, right now, in the energy you're in, <clears throat> you can't see a light at the end of, end of the tunnel. You're guarded when it comes to the person. There's... Um, you have the Seven of Swords in the reverse here. Um, when it's upright, it would indicate or have indicated that there was some sort of break or um, lucky development. Okay, um, But it is in the reverse, indicating that um, you have not gotten that lucky break or um, things have not yet improved. There's obstacles here. And you see... Um, it is above the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is a lot of worry and anxiety over whether this person will put this effort into this new beginning of the Empress. You are wanting to see the light. Um you may be hoping this person will do the right thing. There, they may have done um, some sort of, there, there could have been like an injustice here. Uh, you feel with this card of Libra. You could also be with this card, you can see the fox, um, how he is doing this uh, balancing act here um, and the fox would speak to a cleverness so he's trying to keep his balance here um, and beneath him is that porcupine uh, so if he falls he knows he's going to get hurt um, so there is an air or an element of hidden danger here and you know this you're thinking of this and you're with this two of swords at a, a stalemate you have released the swords temporarily and covered your eyes trying to rely on um, on your intuition to guide you through this or to be able to navigate your way um, through this um, energy or down this struggling uh, path okay again see we have uh, imprisonment and occupation so this is how you're feeling um like um uh, like there's there's no way out it's like you're feeling trapped and stuck in this nine of swords energy it occupies your mind constantly you see toil and labor is also here at the bottom of the deck five of swords you're very worried about um hidden dangers things coming at you out of surprise um maybe you already know this person is coming and you are worried um thus your um shield is up and in place And um, yes, you've been healing here from 
um, they've caused you some sort of um, heartbreak. You know, it could be that this person is somewhat younger than you or um, uh, perhaps immature in some way um, wherein they might act uh, or have acted irresponsible. We have the Fool over here, and, and the Fool is about, um, well, the Fool can be unsuspecting, um, bends down to smell the rose, and doesn't see the dangers uh, surrounding that action, because his focus is, uh, is placed on or upon the rose. Um, it's about... Uh, taking that leap of faith. But if you let this person in, will they stay? Uh, they seem to be inconsistent, so they come and they drink from the cup and then possibly leave. And that's the type of uh, energy um, that I'm getting. You are open to talking to this person, but you see the sword is here. You don't hold it up in your hand, so you're not yet ready to cut this person out um, because, of course, you still desire them. You still uh, feel very passionate about them. So you are willing to talk, and um, they are coming. But you will keep that sword close by should you need it. So... Here we have the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Cups once again. So this is that player type of energy, again, and very consistent with this page, or the energy of the page. But we, we know because page, this Page of Cups is Pisces, um, so this is simply telling me this is you, but as an energy... Um, as an energy, they are inconsistent, much like this knight. So they come in and they tell you everything that you want to hear. And so they may stick around, you see, and drink from the cup. Um, but eventually they walk away. And this is what you're uh, um, worried about. Um, the card of Capricorn. Um, the card of Capricorn, and they could be um, very stubborn, um, but um, they could also be um, prone to mood swings, um, which might make them um, act irresponsible. So you have this reunion coming up and I feel that you will, um, although you are hoping for it to be successful, I feel that you will be cautious and um, careful and not jump into this uh, impulsively. You are afraid here of um, things coming at you out of the dark of um, the, you know, unforeseen uh, things that could take you by surprise with regards to this person, because I feel as though you, you have experienced this um, behavior with this person, which has put you in this place of being uh, very guarded and cautious. So here we see um, you have the card of making a choice. So you're, um, you're faced or will be faced with a dilemma or be at that fork in the road at some point here. And you're going to have to make um, a conscious choice regarding the next right action or what you feel is the right action. 
and whatever this choice is, you must um, take responsibility for it. Okay, the thing is, um, you don't have all of your answers right now um, because the way ahead cannot yet be seen until you've embarked and traveled upon it a few steps. So it's telling you to trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from Spirit and you will be led to the right path. The card of protecting treasure and says that you may be going through some very trying times right now but this card's appearance is telling you that you are being divinely protected and directed so really pay attention to your intuition and to the signs okay guardian angels and other guides will be whispering to you um, and making you quite aware of their protective presence. The things that are happening, they're happening uh, the way they are for a reason. So listen to your intuition, I feel is probably the strongest message here um, of advice that I can give you with regards to this situation. So that is what I have for you and I would like to thank you for watching, <clears throat> excuse me, for liking and sharing my videos uh, and for subscribing. Also thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. Um, I wish you a very safe and happy holiday and all the best in 2020. Many blessings to all of you.